Hey, good morning and welcome to the last book in the Old Testament. We're dealing today with the book of Malachi. Today we're at chapter 2. We're going to read verses 10 through 12 and then we're going to think about it together just for a moment. Let's read it. Have we not all one Father? Has not one God created us? Why do we deal treacherously with one another? By profaning the covenant of the fathers. Judah has dealt treacherously, and an abomination has been committed in Israel and in Jerusalem. For Judah has profaned the Lord's holy institution, which he loves. He has married the daughter of a foreign god. May the Lord cut off from the tents of Jacob, the man who does this, being awake and aware, yet who brings an offering to the Lord of hosts. Oh, now this is painful. This is painful. Cut off, cut off, cut off from the kingdom. Why? If you marry the daughter of a foreign god, if you are, are blending God's things with things of apostasy, and you're blending that all up, you're good with it, and you actually then come before God and you think that somehow he's going to just accept your, uh, your offering. <laughs> when you're bringing him a, a confused offering, a confused situation, when, when your heart is not repentant, and that's going to be okay with God? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. God has created us all. We are all accountable to each other. And yet we're dealing treacherously with each other. And then the example is given of the kingdom of Judah. And if you want that, go back. We've got 275 devotionals from the book of Jeremiah talking about all this stuff happening in Judah. And, and we have set on Lamentations. The baseline is that God will cut off the people who awake and aware, awake and aware, go against him and basically teach rebellion by going against him, bringing an offering and yet being absolutely untrue to him. Oh, may God help us to be truer than this. This is, this is terrible. This is a tragedy. There's no reason for it. Being awake and aware, knowing what God's truth is. Hey, have you got one of these somewhere? Then you know what God's truth is. So we need to, we want to live it out. We need to share it faithfully. And God will help us to do that. But let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, a hard situation here for, for people who are blending faith in you with faith in the crazy poisons of this world and bringing it all together and stirring it all together into one salad and then we come and set it before you like this is an okay thing when we know what the truth is, when we're awake and aware. Oh Lord, help us to repent. Help us to be faithful and true. Help us, Lord, to come up higher and and leave behind these these temporary things, the 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 momentary satisfactions of sin all come with long-term guilt and, and emotional damage. Help us, Lord, to come up higher and to choose Jesus. This is our prayer today in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, we, we, we know a lot. We're responsible. We're accountable. And we should be glad that God has shown us more. And he'll help us to live according to the light that he's given. Oh, may we shine as lights in this very dark place. May God hear that prayer request. God be with you today and light your way.